today's video, I'm going to be talking about my transition from Adobe Lightroom through to using Capture One. Now, I've obviously done a few videos where I've been shooting and you've seen that I'm tethering into Capture One instead of Lightroom, and I've had a few questions. So in this initial video, I'm just going to go over why I made the change and what spurred me to make the change. I'm going to do some more detailed videos later on about it because there's some quite interesting differences between Lightroom and Capture One especially in the way that it renders images. And I've got a video I'm working on at the moment, I've just got to find the right example to show you that it's almost like getting a camera upgrade in terms of swapping from one to the other. Now for me personally, I came in through Lightroom. It was the, it was basically the most popular thing I could find. Everyone was using Lightroom, so I used Lightroom. It is great at searching things. It's great at batch processing, renaming, edit, editing the metadata. So for me, I came into Lightroom the same way most of us did. Everyone else was using it, so I bought it. And then the subscription thing came in, which was a bit annoying at the time, but I subscribed and I continued to get it. And basically over the years, it's got worse and worse and worse. So much so that it was becoming an ongoing joke on shoots that whenever we had to use Lightroom, we'd have to lose probably an hour's shooting time because of technical difficulties. Now I'm running on pretty highly spec computers. It's not that I'm underpowered or doing anything daft. The software just doesn't work. It's also not great at tethering with phase one cameras, obviously, because that's what Capture One's designed for. So there's a few reasons why I've had to change. Now, the first thing for me is stability. For me, I shoot tethered all the time and the tethering software crashed so often that I was forever having to unplug cables, replug cables, close down tether, start tether, close down the software, restart the software, do a complete computer restart. And it was just a nightmare on shoots. It was never working properly. And that's ever since I did the big upgrade with the Creative Cloud. It just hasn't tethered stably. And I use the Canon 5D series. So it's not like it's a, a niche camera where there might be a few quirks. It's probably the most commonly used camera out there. That was a bit of a bit of bro science that I have nothing to back that up with. Anyway, that was a nightmare. I then, as I was getting more and more into food, I was using Live View a lot. There's no way to have Live View within Lightroom. So I was having to have the Canon EOS utility, which is what I'm filming this on here, for the Live View, take the shot in that, that would then go onto a desktop folder which would auto import into Lightroom. And the whole process was so slow, it was sluggish, it constantly crashed, it kept not finding the files, it would overwrite files, it didn't work. Capture One, built in Live View, you can fully control the camera, all the camera settings can be controlled from within Lightroom. And the tether is so stable, it's not crashed on me yet, I've done a lot of shoots with it. Lightroom is great for archiving huge chunks of work. I've got every hard drive with its own catalog, should I need to like scroll through and all the rest of it. And I'm just giving Capture One a go on this now. I can't say if it's better or not. It's currently, this screen back here has got a machine down there, which is redoing it, so it's taken ages, but then I do have seven million, several million photos. So it's gonna take a while. I can't comment on how good that is, but what I can comment on is how good the sessions are. So with Lightroom, you have your Lightroom folder, then you can put your images wherever you want when you're tethering, and it can get a bit confusing and everybody at some point has deleted the files from the catalog or moved them and then lost contact with their catalog. The way that Capture One works, you have your session, your input folder, which is stuff coming in, your output folder, which is every export you've ever made, your trash and your selects, and it all stays in a nice little package. And that for someone like me, who's computer illiterate is very, very useful. Now I'm gonna go into image quality in a separate video because it's a really big topic. So if you do wanna hear about that, do hit subscribe and hit the bell icon because it'll be the next week or so that it comes out. And I think you'll find it very interesting. It's probably the best upgrade that you're going to get for your photography without spending lens or camera body kind of money. And I'd actually say, I'd go as far as saying, if you're upgrading within models, so say with Canon, for example, if you're going from one 5D to the next one up, or one like 00D to the next one, so like 70 to 80D, you'll get a bigger improvement by getting Capture One if you shoot how I do. Now, the actual way that it edits the images is also better in Capture One. The color editor's better, the color selections are better, the way that you can broaden and narrow the color gamut, the way that you can broaden and narrow the color charts, the way that the structure and clarity slider compared to the texture and clarity in Lightroom, it is so much better. The way that you can play with the highlights and shadows is so much better than in Lightroom. I don't understand the technicalities as to why, but it just is. And I'm not a techie guy, so you're gonna have to sort of just go with, it is better, because it is better. And my images look so much better for it. Now a big one for anyone out there who's a wedding photographer, we've all finished editing the wedding. You've got a thousand photos to render and it's an overnight job. Or if like me, you, you're a sucker for a time-lapse. You've got a 6,000 image time-lapse and you've got to render from RAW to JPEG. 
that's going to be overnight. You're going to have your fans whirring, keeping everyone up in the house or in the studio. Hopefully you're not sleeping in the studio. But with Capture One, it is quicker. And I've tested it. I've done <laughs> drag races, basically. I've timed the same export far quicker in Capture One. You can also export to multiple files at the same time just by ticking boxes rather than having to do the arduous re-export, re-export, re-export in Lightroom, which then brings to a grinding halt and then you end up with a crash bit of software. So these are just my preliminary thoughts on my change. I can't see myself going back. If anything, I'm probably going to move over to DaVinci Resolve as well and just sack off the Adobe Suite altogether because the only reason I have it now is for these videos here. I'm going to do a lot more videos in this and sort of show you through my learning process of getting into Capture One. I am not paid for or paid by anybody to do with Capture One or with Lightroom. There's no um, affiliate links, there's no kickbacks, nothing like that. This is just my honest opinion on the software. Go and get a free trial, give it a go. It's a bit of a different way of learning. Basically stick to sessions for the time being, that's the way you want to get into it. Let me know what you think. And in the comments, let me know, do you use Lightroom or capture one or something completely different and are you thinking of changing? Let me know so we can try and tailor these videos around that. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.